here we have a paper time machine. This is a Sears Roebuck and Company catalog, 1908. Now this is a, a vintage reprint. This is not an actual 1908 catalog. This uh, is a reprint, I think sometime in the 90s. But this is a time machine. I wish I had one of these for every year going back to whenever because these are so useful for a multitude of reasons. You can figure out what kind of blocks, bricks your houses are made out of if you have a Sears house. I mean, there's you can figure out what kind of shovel you have. I mean, this, this is amazing. There's sporting good stuff in here. So this is just a brief look through. I found this uh, at a, a secondhand shop, I think about four or five months ago, and I just rediscovered it. So, let's just look through this. This is number 117. This was the internet of the era. You had to have this. Especially if you lived in a small town. Because if you lived in Manhattan, you had access to a lot of things. Items. If you lived in a small town anywhere else in the U.S., you had to have one of these. This is copyright 1969, this reprint. All right, so let's jump into the, the meat of this. And just look at some of these awesome items. This is great if you have weird farm implements, you don't know what they are. This is a very handy reference. You can figure out what their actual purpose is. All right, so let's just look at this. Pricing, that's great. You gotta love the pricing. Sewing machines. Paints. I like these little barrels. Oh, heck yeah. You think they got Paris green? The uh, arsenic laced green paint? Probably do. More paints. Let's see. Is there a Paris green? Chrome green, blind green. Wow. You can get lost in this catalog. Floor varnish, come on, brushes, gotta have them. Get a little closer. Webster's Monarch Dictionary, $4.84. Cookbook, $1.12. Family Doctor, $1.45. Vehicle Department. These are fascinating. So this is fun. This is like bottom of the barrel, buggy, and it goes all the way up <clears throat> to the Grand Deluxe. So this is the bottom of the barrel. So this is your beater, not a beater, it's just a basic two-wheeled carriage. And then we got, the pricing is awesome. $36, you can have this. $43, you can have that. Let's see. Now for $44.95, you can have a roof. No fenders yet. $46, you got a Probably improved suspension. We're moving up here now. $54.75. This would be so much fun to have in your front yard. I just push it around. These are looking fancier. Also more automobile like. This is 1908, folks. So, wow, look at this. Now, here we go the fender. Look at that. $61.95. 1908 model. Hey, Ant. Probably not a safe spot to be in. Let's see. Heavy Concord top buggy. 61 bucks could be yours. Keep going up. 1908. $51. 58 bucks. Wow, look at that one. $59.95. Whoop. Let's see. These are looking more and more automobile-like. $77. You gotta love this right here. 1908 Styles, high grade series. 
$93.95. Man, put a motor in that, let's go. It looks like a like a vehicle, right? Like a car. A little pointy hand. $105, folks. Cheers. Now we got spring wagons, more utilitarian. Wow, business wagons. That would be fun to have. Load up on my antiques in one of these. Go to the local fair. Oh my god. I want it. I want it. I'm sure it's not that price anymore. Oh, this. A little private <laughs> consulting wagon. Consignments. That's hilarious. I'm cracking myself up. This is awesome. Improved famous farm wagons. These are gorgeous. $41. I'll take five. Come on. Trucks, yeah. Harnesses, right? Got to get the horses hooked up properly. Got saddles, nine dollars and twenty cents. It's a nineteen oh eight Sears Roebuck and Company catalog. It's a reprint. I wish it was the original, but this is good. We got saddles. We got short chic team bridle. The blinders and the like. Look at that. Cowboy riding pants. Fancy stamped waistband. That's awesome. This is awesome. If there's anything specific you need to see in this catalog, let me know. I'll make a special video just for that. Wow. Hand-powered stuff. You got tombstones. Wow. Bikes. Look at this. Look at this. Bicycles. I love that font. 1908. Kenwood Bicycles. $11.95. These are gorgeous. Famous redhead Elgin King. Beautiful. Simplistic design. What else we got? 1908 model Josephine. $16.65. This is a woman's bike, juvenile bikes. Outstanding. All the toys are coming up. Look out. Here we go. This is awesome. Look at this. Harris 20th Century Railroad Attachment. $5.45. You put your bike on the track and you have this. You ride down the track and I... How cool could that be? I want that. Now we got some little kid pedal vehicles. This would be cute to have fun with boys, little wagon. I'm sure a girl will have fun with that too. This looks fun. Crank powered. Look at this doozy. Get a close up of that. How happy was the kid who received that? Lamps and horn extra. Look at this thing. That is freaking awesome. I, I don't see those out and about in the wild. Man, oh man, here we go. Stereoscopic view department. Very popular entertainment of the era. You visit, visit the world without leaving your parlor. Just news of the era. You got bifocals. Gorgeous binoculars. This is great. This is like when you find something at a garage, so you're like, what is it? Well, it could be one of these. Is it a hearing horn? These are like from old school cartoons. Is it a conversation tube? 75 cent dust protector. Look at that. Come on. This is great. Nice old seeing glasses. Telescopes. Here we go. Record players. Record players. Telephones. Man, oh man. Looks cool. Try to zoom out. Not too much. Fans. Fans. People love their fans. Old school fans. Telegraph. Jeez Louise. How about some miniature fruit lamps? Piano and organ departments. Yeah, 
the prices of brand new pianos in here. Oh, the violins. The violins. Our Nuremberg Solos violin, $69, folks. I'm sure it's fully carved, ebony, fingerboard, tailpiece, gorgeous. Those days are gone. Catalog ordering. Oh, no. Online catalog offers pretty high quality stuff, too, I guess. But these have that old world aesthetic. Guitars, come on. <clears throat> these are magnificent and they are very ornate. Look at these mandolins. Take a pick, folks. Take a pick. Banjos. I believe my grandpa in Texas played banjo back in the early 20th century. Maybe he had one of these. Probably did. The Pearl. $15.95. The Royal. I like the Royal. $11.95. The Glee Club. That's the humdinger. Look at that. Harp the cord, auto harp. Accordion. Wow, brass bass, tubas, and baritones. These have unique tunings. E flat. Now they're most horns now are in B flat. Back in olden times they had a different different tunings. E flat was more common. C was more common. Key of C. E flat. Wow, look at these. Cornets. Cornets are smaller, or trumpets basically, but they have a slightly different timbre or tone. Smaller physical body. Clarinet, aka the Hell Stick. Metronome, various, all oh, cool. Snare drums, bass drums, Acme Professional Drums. Drummer's Delight, single headed snare drum. Bugles, wake up. Triangle beater. Huh. Let's get watches. These are like pocket watches from department stores. This is 1908 Sears Roebuck catalog reproduction. Here we got vest chains for your watches. Vest chains for your watches. Jewelry. You got your rings. I like how they have the ring size like that. That's pretty convenient, right? <clears throat> Don't make it hard to buy your folks, your stuff, folks. There's some Masonic stuff. Sears is smart. Someone's in the middle of nowhere. They don't know the ring size. Well, now you do. Don't make it hard to buy your, your folks to buy your stuff. Sears was good at that. Let's see. Making it easy. Charms. Yep. Writing pens. Silverware. If there's something you gotta see again, leave a comment. I'd be more than happy to go back and do a more detailed review of that particular area. Box. Rose Garden dinner set, 12 bucks, 45 cents. Lamps, chairs. There you go. Big rockers. Bedroom. Some more fold out bed stuff. Skip that, I think. Oh, there was some really cool stuff in here. This. True blue enamelware. I feature this on my channel. I have this the Berlin wear. I think I have this. It's gorgeous. This blue speckled enamelware. Genuine true blue enameled enamelware. Finest quality. That's great. Household stuff. Milk cans. Dairy supply. That's cool. Implements, farm bells, ring a bell, planes. What else we got? We got tools, machinist tools, drills, auger bits, chisel. Let's see. This is more 
mix your own cement. I like this. I love shovels. I buy and sell a lot of shovels in my store. Gives you various uses. These are wood D handles. These are all wood. The D shape handle. I find a lot of these. Cleveland patent D handle extra steel coal shovel. Yep. Shovel a lot of coal in the Cleveland area in the winter. <clears throat> we got more farm implements. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Manure spreader. Was that the one from Back to the Future that Biff ran into? Hey, wait a minute. $49.85. It kind of looked like that. <laughs> this is a 1908 Sears Robot catalog. Manure spreader. What do you know? I wonder what those are going for these days. Let's see what else we got. I do have... There's some... This is kind of cool. Sears Roebuck houses, classic American uh, vintage houses, the different blocks. You know, we can see what your house is made of. You can build your own blocks. Heat stuff. Safes. There was some. I'm going to jump ahead here a little bit. Cameras. That's cool. That's definitely cool. Some old school cameras. C folding camera, Conley A folding camera. Look at that one. Improved compact camera. Six dollars ninety-five cents, folks. Let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, so there was more cameras. Plate holder. There's some baseball gloves I want to show. To, to here's some cool firearms. Check these prices out. You know it's old school when you can buy a, some firearms from the Sears catalog. Single barrel shotgun. How much is that? Four dollars seventy six cents. We got a Luger in here. The handguns. How cool are these? Revolvers. Here we go. Luger automatic pistol. Let me get a close up of that. $24.45, 30 caliber, eight shot, right there. That's a nice design right there. Amazing, look at this. Colts, Colts Special, Colt New Army. I mean, these catalogs have everything. We're not even done yet. Colt, this is a cute little firearm. Wow, old school. Stuff. Ammo stuff, hunting stuff, skates, ice skates. This is it, some sporting stuff. So check this out. This is fun. Baseball collectors, baseball glove collectors, baseball historians. This is interesting. Take a look at this. So notice some of these gloves have the crescent pad in the palm. Now this is a 1908 Sears Roebuck catalog. See, there we go, our crescents. This is 1908. Now the crescents can also date back to the 1890s. So you're looking at 1890s through the 19, you know, probably through 1910. Sometimes folks, or I, I can just get caught up in thinking, you know, crescent means automatic 1890s. No, it doesn't. This is, you know, 1908. And there's a lot of crescent padded gloves on this uh, page. Football goods, basketball, that's super old school. Look at that old glove, 18 cents. I'll take a few of those, please. Wow. I thought that was interesting. You got fishing gear, rubber baits, tent. Flags. 1908. I think this would have been a 48 star flag. If my memory serves me correct. Black oil or tarpaulin wagon covers. Heck yeah. 
packet or razors, right? We got your razors, shaving stuff. Again, if there's anything here that you want me to take a more detailed look at on, you know, in my video, I would be happy to do that. Oh, there's Paris Green right there. I just saw a bucket of that on eBay for sale, and I'm like, do I want to buy a bucket of arsenic? I kind of do, but I kind of don't. Dilemma of an antique dealer. Paris Green. So it's a paint, long story short, it's a paint that had a lot of arsenic to achieve the green color that marveled our ancestors in the late 19th and early 20th century, but it was laced with ar arsenic. Uh, it was you know, like a deadly poison, and it was even used for um, pest control until humans figured out that it was poison and we used something else to make green. That always worries me though, like what are we gonna figure out that we have that we're using nowadays that in 10, 20 years is like some super bad poison? I don't know. I don't know. Hair tonic? Question mark? That's right. Soaps. Oh, here we are. Soaps. Cool. I haven't gone to this page yet. I sell vintage soap in my store. I have soap from 1832. Hand cut bars if you're interested. It's in my store right now. My eBay store. Vintage Classic Solutions. Look at all this stuff. Poor people had to wear all this junk. All the poor women. All that stuff. Some of, some of these things are made of baleen, whale baleen. Poor whales, right? Shoes. Oh, look at that. Shoes. Getting towards the end. Cloth. Skipping around just a little bit. Socks. See, what else? Suitcases. Undergarments. Yarn. Doilies. Ribbon. Hats. Oh, wow. Jeez. That's amazing. These hats. Where do you put them? Your closet? That won't even fit my closet. Wow. Suits. I think we're getting towards the end here. Let's see, what did we end with? Yeah, I think these, some of these, the corsets or the, some of the enforcements for the women's dresses would be made of whale baleen. Believe it or not, which is kind of like a fingernail-like material that the whales teeth of certain whales. Amazing. Oh, I think that's it. What's the last page? There's more dresses. Style. This is a 1908 Sears Roebuck and Company catalog. This is a reprint. Let's see. That's it. Women's fashion ends it. Anything you got to see, I'll be more than happy to go back and take a more detailed look. So that was our look at a paper time machine, 1908 Sears Roadblock Catalog. Thanks for checking in.